In this video, we'll create an HTML5 website with fixed background images. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. As you can see, when we land on the website, we have this image taking up 100% of the width and 100% of the height with the large fixed text there at the top. Then as we scroll down, we'll see another fixed image here with the hardwood floor that's surrounded by two different dark text sections and then at the bottom we have another full image there taking up the screen. So let's scroll back up top and then we can take a look at the mobile version which is off to the right here. Okay so even on the mobile version on say an iPhone 10 the images are gonna stay fixed here as we scroll through the website and we're gonna change the size of the text also as we lay out the website. So no matter how wide or narrow you have the website displaying, the images are always going to take up 100% of the screen here. Okay, so let's X out of this and we'll see what we need to get started. So in the description of this video will be the fixed background site starter files where you'll have index.html and style.css. I'm gonna be using the free text editor called Sublime Text to build the website and then I'm also going to have index.html open with Google Chrome as my web browser while we're building it. Also in the starter files we have the image folder here containing all three of the images we need to create this website. Alright so let's move over to sublime text and get started where we have style.css here with a Google font to start us off with the style sheet and then we have index.html here. Okay, so at the top we have the website title, fixed background website tutorial, then we have style.css, which we're linking to. So I'm just gonna write a little bit of text in here to make sure that we're connected to Google Chrome, which we are, and now we can get started with our first tag. So the first thing that we'll do is we're gonna lay out the foundation for the full screen image that we're seeing here. So all the way down to where the, um, the black or dark text section starts. So let's call this div class image one or IMG one. Then inside of that we'll have div class heading for the fixed text. So we can go ahead and write fixed. And then underneath that we'll go ahead and close out both of our divs. Okay. So for now, we're just gonna see the fixed text here. We'll be adding the images in the CSS. Next, let's move down to the dark text section here. So let's use the HTML5 tag section. You can open and close that. Then we'll have a heading one where it says fixed background website. So to save us some time, I'm just gonna be pasting the text in here. You can use regular dummy text, uh, ipsum text if you want. Then under that we have our paragraph here with the dummy text that I have. Okay. And then we can drop down to the next fixed background image there with the coffee cup and the wooden floor. So we'll say div class. I'm just going to create some space here so we're not looking at the bottom of the screen. So div class image or IMG two and then close out the div and now we can drop down and create our next section with the text so all we have in this one is the paragraph text here so I'll just paste it in okay and then lastly let's drop down and add our third fixed background image here Okay, so we'll just call this div class img3, and then we can close out our div. All right, so now we have our text laid out here. So let's go ahead and move over to style.css, and we can start styling our website. So the first thing that we'll style will be a reset style. So we'll want to reference the HTML tag and the body tag to reset um, any inherent information that the web browser wants to put onto our HTML document. So let's go ahead and say height 100 percent 
and then margin zero. So this is going to take away the inherent margin that Google Chrome wants to put on the document. So that's going to take away the space to the left there. Now we have our text pushed all the way up to the left side of the screen. And then let's change the font family to the Google font that we have up top, Open Sans. And we'll have our fallback font, Sans-Serif. OK. And then let's give it a line height to space out the text of 180%. And we'll change our text color to white which is the hex value FFF. And then our background color will be a dark gray color, which is 323232. Three, two, three, two. And then let's say text align center, so all of our text is aligned centered. Okay, so here we have our text nice and centered with the dark background. So next, let's go ahead and add our uh, background images here. So we're going to reference the div class IMG1, IMG2, and IMG3. All right, so let's start with IMG1 where we have the typewriter image here. So let's say dot IMG1 since it's a class. And then we'll say background URL. And the image for this is IMG forward slash one dot JPEG. And then we'll also give it a minimum height of 100%. All right, so now if we refresh, there we have the typewriter image taking up 100% of the screen. But we'll do a little bit of work to it later so it's centered and we're seeing the whole image. All right, so let's move down to the hardwood floor image here with IMG2. And again, we'll say background. URL IMG forward slash two dot JPEG and then we're gonna give this a minimum height of 100 percent as opposed or sorry 60 percent as opposed to 100 percent and then for the third image we're gonna make this one uh, a minimum height of 100 percent like the first image so IMG forward slash three dot JPEG and then min height 100 percent all right so now if we go and refresh we have all of our images here taking up their relative space next let's go ahead and give these background images the rest of their style so it looks like the original so we'll reference all of them here uh, with the same styles, so IMG1, comma, IMG2, comma, IMG3, then open and close your swirly brackets. And we're going to say position relative and then opacity 0.85 to give it kind of the, um, the vintage white overlay feel there. And then we're going to say background position center. So now it's going to be centered, but we want to see the whole image, right? So we're going to say background size cover. All right, so now we'll refresh. And now we're seeing the whole image here, but we also want it fixed and to stay in the same position. So we'll say background attachment fixed. All right. OK, so there we have the images staying fixed for us. And lastly, in case someone is on a really large screen, Let's say background dash repeat, no repeat. All right, so now let's go ahead and just add some padding to the dark text sections here to space them out a little bit. OK. So let's add 50 pixels of padding on the top and bottom and 80 pixels on the left and right. 
So the paragraphs are kind of inward there with the padding to either side. And next, let's move on to our fixed text there that's displaying at the top. So if you remember, that's div class heading. So we'll write dot heading. And then we'll say position absolute. And then top 50% to center it on the page. So now if we refresh it, it's going to be off to the side here. And it's going to stay in the same spot when we scroll up. And then font size 650%. And we'll give it a text shadow so we can see it better with the white background there, or the white font rather. So text shadow 0 and 0 for vertical and horizontal, and then 15 pixels in diameter with the black hex value 0, 0, 0. Okay, so next let's move it over to the center. So we'll say width 100% to center it. Okay. And then let's say text transform uppercase. So we have all uppercase characters. All right. And then lastly, to get it looking just like the original here, let's give it a little bit of letter spacing. So letter spacing 8 pixels. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so that's everything for the full width version of the website. So let's go ahead and size it down to its mobile version. And let's apply a couple of quick media queries to give it its responsiveness. So let's say at media and then max width 768 pixels. So anything under 768 pixels, we want these styles to apply to the website and then dot heading and let's resize it to 250% from 650%. Okay, so that looks much better there for a mobile version. And then optionally we can go ahead and resize our heading. So we're using an H1. We'll say 95%. And then we can also resize our paragraph text to uh, 90 percent. So now if we refresh, there we have it. Our heading is a little small though. So you can mess around with this to the size that you want it to display at. But that does it for the mobile style as well as, like I said, the desktop style. And now we have our completed HTML5 fixed background image website. So I want to thank you for sticking around with me through this tutorial. Please remember to like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, and then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.